Well, this is John with Go Mobile, and today we're going to go look at a Peterbilt 379. He's got a loss in power, so we're going to go take a look at it. Normally, I don't work on Sundays, but this is a good customer, so we're going to head out there and take a look at it, see what it is. We're obviously not going to be able to get any parts today, but we can get a kind of a good look at and see what we need. So Monday morning, bright and early, we can get parts ordered for this truck. Um, they're farming pretty heavily, so it's going to be one of those things we're going to have to see if we can even track it down. And that's even if, we, even if the truck's parked today. Um, it might not be. They were talking yesterday. They were in Yuma with it, so. Well, I'm here. And that's the blue Peterbilt. Doors unlocked. It's a 379. Got a little bit of an air leak as you can hear. But I'm not quite sure how long it's been here. So I think this is the truck. Sorry. Got you guys in my nose. I believe this is the truck. So we're going to go ahead and pop the hood on it take a look at and see if this is what we got going on here and what we can find let's see what we got underneath the hood well, as you guys can tell well, it's a little windy today but we have an a cert um, he must have ran this morning because everything's been I have to holy moly there's bolts missing right there I can see that right there as you can tell that comes out the charge side or comes into the uh, pressure side of the intake so there's possibly an exhaust leak right or an intake leak right there um, yeah Lock, lack of power so right here looking at we just did kind of a basic look around I don't see anything missing see a hermaphrodite clip but everything seems to be there for the exhaust intake I don't see any blown boots see some dirt collecting down here which that's probably coming out of this oil cooler line right there up to that so in this notion what we're going to do is I'm going to hook up my scanner to it and we're going to run some codes on it to see what we can find see what causes those codes and go from there because I'm not quite sure how many miles are on the odometer on this old girl Well, there we go. I don't know if you guys can see it. That's a handful of miles, so we'll see what we can find on it. But she might just be getting tired. That might be their uh, lack of power. So it might just be getting a little tired. It looks like that's the Virgin engine at, due to the fact that these guys uh, uh, do the updates on it the updates to these engines and this one's still got the twins on her so that's what's telling me she's a virgin hasn't been touched yet so oh you pretty chrome inside not a bad looking truck we're gonna start it up and see how she runs now we're just sitting back and waiting for the uh, scanner to pick up some codes or pick up something off of it so we kind of know what's going on with it. I forgot to check my phone to see what time I showed up here. It's usually a bad thing to do. Okay, we're just going to round that up to 3 o'clock. But we're just going to wait for the scanner and to do all the stuff on it. and Find out what we can find. Text the customer. So there we go. Just sitting back, turn the radio down so I don't get hit on 
YouTube for some type of, they say you can't have music in the background. I heard that from Casey Liddell. I don't really know because I haven't been, I don't have enough subscribers to make any money off of this. So I just do this so people know uh, pretty much how to look for things, what to look forward to, and kind of what the day-to-day -day life is of a mobile mechanic in this part of Nebraska. So on that notion, I'm going to give the customer a heads up that I'm here and that I'm looking at it and running codes on it. Pretty guard darn weak sounding. I don't know if you can hear that. Sounds like the injectors are not firing all that good. Could be a cam too, so. Yeah, you can hear she just Got a little bit of a hiccup on the low end. So we'll check our gauges real quick so we can check pressure on everything. I got this hooked up, the scan tool hooked up. We're gonna run some live data. But pressure's coming up. But just things just didn't don't seem like it's all that good on it. It's misfired. It's loading up pretty heavily, so we're gonna run some checks on it. Now, if you guys can hear it, I'll be quiet for a second. But you get it up to just about right there. You hear a lot of engine sounding. That's not right. This is a cat motor. This thing should be nice and smooth. Um, he's either got some injectors going out on him, or he needs an overhead drastically bad so yeah that's not good no check engine lights so we don't know what that's doing so we don't know if it's being degraded I got to call the customer up make sure it's okay but I probably got to close the truck up and take it for a little drive and we'll spin I'll probably just Take this old truck out and take it for a drive real quick down the road. Um, we did have a trailer on it. Um, it's a loaded trailer and it's loaded to its max. But we're just going to run up the road, put some miles on it, see if we can get a code to throw on it. And once we get a code on it, we can uh, kind of determine what we got going on. Um, these older cats, when you shut them off, they'll shut some of the they'll shut the codes off, and then you got to regenerate the code. So it worked out good that we had a trailer behind this truck to figure out what we got going on. Now, as you can see here, I uh, pulled into this town and um, yeah, I wasn't quite planned on having to get back on the road as quick as it did. I took the wrong turn, so there we go. Well, we're going to head back to the yard and drop her off. took the truck for a drive um, it took a little bit for it to throw some codes luckily enough they had a loaded trailer on it and I don't know what the load was but with an 18 speed transmission I was using pretty much every hole it had but we got it back here as you can hear she doesn't sound the healthiest after you get it warmed up and I got the check engine lights on so on that notion I'm going to uh, get out of here and get to the next job. I got all my information down here. We're going to have to get some stuff on order for it. Um, pull up some of these codes because we got multiple codes going on. And this thing is uh, doing all kinds of funny things. But I spoke with the customer. He says it's got a million seven on. So it's definitely due for an overhead set of injectors. Probably wouldn't hurt her. So on that notion. You ever call a mobile mechanic and you wonder where he's at don't keep calling him um, he'll get to you eventually but as with everything things change and 
he is just as septic or just susceptible to things changing as you are. Um, so on that notion, don't bother him too much. Okay, well while I'm here, I figure I'd check the voltage, make sure the ECM's got the correct voltage on it. Going up to the thing because I have one code is 385, which I'm gonna check the pressure sensor up here to make sure that's the case because that will derate it and it does need an overhead but I'm going to check that and I'm going to check to make sure the coils not shorted out internally right below it and then once we get those checked out then I can uh, ensure that that's the case and I can buy parts for it but there's no reason to buy parts for a truck that's not going to fix it service call we're going to go a couple towns over we got a uh, semi truck. I'm not quite sure make and model of it. All I know is it's a semi truck. And he is on the side of the interstate. I know he's got a nice 15 inch in it. But he's on the side of the interstate because he blew an air compressor. His air compressor is pumping oil into the uh, air system and uh, keeps plugging dryers up. So. Here we go. I'm gonna go up there, pull our lines off, and get him going. Oh, here he comes. Thank you guys. Please subscribe because subscribing to my videos is going to, one, eventually I'm going to have enough subscribers that's going to help pay for some of the cameras and software and computer and laptops that I have to purchase to make these videos for you guys. And I can give you a headlight on some of the uh, items here, the, uh, the codes here, so you guys can look at and see what we had here. And from that point on, thank you guys for watching, and I appreciate it. <laughs> that guy's running down the road with his bumper forwarded forward. <laughs> okay. Well, needless to say, distractions. Never I said ADD. Well, I'm going to get out of here and quit riding around like a bull rock driver. And I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.